McCarthy was a staff engineer for the Helmsleys. He controlled all their construction. Jerry says he used to be a sailor, but some of the language that came out of Leona's mouth embarrassed even him. Will you please welcome them both to the show? Have a nice time. Pleasure to be here. When a woman is in business, like I am, or Barbara Walters is a good friend of mine, and you're, you're, you're strong, mm -hmm. they say, what a bitch, and she's the worst, and who the hell does she think she is? And if it's a man, they go, wow, what an executive. He can run a tight no, ship. Well, I was senior vice president and director of engineering for Helmsley and an officer of a number of other companies that they owned, including Helmsley Hotels, that Mrs. Helmsley operated. Uh, I was with them from 79 till uh, 85. And daily contact? Not every day, but uh, pretty much, yes. Was she, and we're getting right into this so quickly, but are the horror stories true? I think the horror stories are mild, really. Yeah, there are a lot of horror stories. She's a very volatile person, completely dispassionate. And very uh, abusive. And abusive. Very abusive. What is, like, the firing? I made the joke, in, you know, when I saw that in the introduction, say she fired people she didn't even have working for her. Did she fire all the time? Yeah, yeah fired me. she fired me eight times. She yeah. fired you eight <laughs> times? <laughs> I got fired once, twice in the same night. And so would you go in and really clean out your desk? No. I mean, did I you believe that. it? Sometimes I did, but Mr. Hamsley, I, I really reported directly to Mr. Hamsley, and he was quite different, absolutely a total opposite. So, so what was, would, if she fired you, you just ignored it? or? Well, I would go down and ask the boss, you know, what do I do? And he'd say, go back to work. We have things to do. And you know, that's basically the way it you know, worked out. In my case, I had a contract, but I, I did get calls from the owner on an everyday basis for one thing or the other. As you can see by my size, she didn't pull me through the telephone. No. She tried. And usually my conduit to getting through to Harry with a problem. And Joe okay to severance for But let me ask you, couldn't you just say these people don't deserve to be fired? Or were you scared? Oh, you could say, say it. No, it wasn't a question of scared. Yeah, I, I, I answer that way. Do you think she was drinking? Could it be drinking or drugs or no, there was such highs and lows? Someone told me. I don't know. Way of knowing, but just complete changes of mood. Totally. In one, like in a meeting, yeah. where this yeah. just like happened. In a sentence. In a sentence. Well, we, we had example, a meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me that. I, I, I can't think of any specific example right now, but her mood could change just like turning on and off a light switch. Yeah. Learned about you know, everybody's she, diet. Is she really? Everybody's diet. Yeah. Well, what she happened was... You, what she, right. she wanted you to eat. Right. Yeah, but to go on... Um, uh, Leona's accountants, they claim she overpaid on her income tax. So how can she be guilty of tax evasion? Well, I wasn't on the well, jury, you know, but... Uh, it, yeah, you have to remember the intent. Deco, it happened to be that my company was the... The, the conduit to this whole tax evasion situation. We actually were the ones that furnished all the purchasings to the famous uh, the Nellon Estates. And there was a system set up unbeknownst completely to us uh, because we were not privy to tax statements. And it was a system set up to defraud the government of taxes. Now, you so gentlemen are no, no longer working guilt. there. Pardon me? Jerry, you're no longer working there. No, I How left in 1985. Were you fired uh, or did you quit? No, well, I said I was fired eight times, but the, yeah. one, the last final firing, uh, I just uh, had had it and I told her to go to hell. You uh, said right to her, go to yeah, hell? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. And I she didn't said, get that opportunity. And she said, you're fired. Uh, <laughs> and, then she said, and then she said, you're not fired, you quit, because she knew I had a contract and she thought about it for just a moment. One and she thought she, she was really going to have to pay up. She couldn't stand for someone to quit. She had to have the pleasure of firing you. So the worst possible thing you could do would be to quit before she had a, a chance to stick it to you. If she was so difficult to work for, why did everybody stay? We well, I'll tell you, it's a very strange thing. You're, you're, in a, you're in a power structure with a lot of wealth and a lot of power, and you're really, I, maybe we're all masochists. We, we get beaten up one day, and yet you were looking forward to the excitement of the next day, possibly, as to what was going to happen. Uh, you, were, you were in a very powerful, liquid structure with great potential, and you took your chances. Yeah, you case, had a good salary, too, Bill. That's correct. Oh, I, I made a fortune there. But in my yeah. case, uh, it was a tremendous opportunity for, a, for an engineer. I mean, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of buildings all over the country. It's like playing with the world's biggest erector set. Do the three of you now, having been through so much with her, do you feel any, do you feel sorry for her at all? No. I do in a way. She got what she got. No, I, I feel sorry for her. Because I don't. You know, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I really think, do. I, I feel a little sorry for her. Um, I'm, I'm not saying she's not responsible for her behavior, but I think that she has a psychological disorder. And I agree. Whereby she has absolutely no feeling for any other human being. I think Harry Helmsley is probably the only individual that she is capable of sticking with. And of course, it's because he has a $5 billion real estate empire. He's the living legend of New York real estate. And he's the source of fame and glamour and untold wealth. But 